What up, people? It's Abram. I am off today, so I decided to go for a walk in the park. Uh, there's a park that I've been meaning to check out. Um, the Ake Bono San Park is what it's called. Uh, so I just arrived here in the parking lot. I'm gonna walk around and check it out. You can hear like the cicadas just kind of going at it and everything. I'll see what I can do to uh, show you around. So uh, stay tuned for more. It's not too hot today, so I might actually be able to explore for quite a bit without getting uh, heat stroke. We'll see. Hmm. One of the entrances to the park, uh, not the one that I went into, but uh, a different one. I'm gonna walk around over here in the woods for a little bit, see what it's all about. Actually seems really nice and calm, and of course, stairs. Just kind of hanging out. The water looks like it would be nice and cold and feel so good. Uh, who knows? Who knows? We'll have to come back and find out. Comment down below if you know what happened to this Just another day walking around exploring, looking at the countryside. I guess this is a farm plot here and then in the background, like uh, I showed you earlier, you've got like the uh, windmill with the little lake over there with the koi and the lily pads. And a soccer field where some kids are playing soccer. And in the background, you've got some big buildings and stuff. Well, I am going over, looks like there might be a little small historical village somewhere over here. So I'm gonna see if we can uh, check it out. If I find it, I'll put it in the video. All right, stay tuned for more. The Japanese garden of Akebono Yama Park.
Okay, so we are here. We just saw the gardens. That's kind of cool. Now I want to go here. That's right there. It's a big shrine. We'll see what's happening. holiday just ended so I think everyone's back at work now but uh, still quiet countryside I'm kind of going through a little suburb suburban area right now but uh, yeah we are out in the country or I am I am I live in the countryside someone asked me not too long ago what do you mean by a Japanese countryside them there's nothing but rice patties around and uh, maybe a few grocery stores but uh, it's not the small city that's that's for sure thankful for that a few things around here but I am definitely in the countryside winter is gonna be interesting I found out that it snows in my area I haven't driven in snow in, wow, over a decade. It's gonna be 
be interesting to see. It's gonna be interesting to feel again. Coming from San Diego, not having any winter clothes really. So I'm gonna, and I'm a big guy in Japan. I might have to make a video of me shopping for winter clothes. It might be kind of boring because I might have to do it online. But uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll make a video about that. As you can tell, I am driving and there are rice paddies everywhere. Not too much more than that. But, uh, oh, and rivers. There are a lot of rivers in this area. into my first year in Japan. My uh, contract is up in March. It is currently uh, middle to end of August. Uh, as it stands as of right now, I am not looking at renewing my contract. Uh, I found a, uh, some other opportunities in another country where you get paid a little bit more, the cost of living is lower, and a little bit more metropolitan uh, area. Uh, so I'm gonna pursue those options uh, for now. Who knows, maybe I'll come back to Japan at one point in my journey and my travels. As it stands at the moment, it's not really my cup of tea. But uh, who knows, who knows. Life has ways of throwing curveballs at you. You end up doing things that never planned on doing. I never ever planned on visiting Japan or even living here. And look at me now. I've been here for six months. Who knows? Who knows what happens? Well, we shall see. <laughs> 